everybody it is february 22nd 2022 it is a beautiful day today it's a beautiful day outside hubby's here hey um and we are starting our day it's uh it's about to be 12 o'clock in about another 20 minutes and so we're starting our day today getting things going um and it's a day to manifest what are you manifesting today what have you manifested today if you manifested something already go ahead and um leave it in the comment section i want to know i'm interested and curious to know what other people are manifesting i'm manifesting joy and peace more joy more peace for 2022 and, uh, and wealth and health and health especially health um we're trying to be more healthy i've made a decision to cut back the beef and cut back a lot of the not so healthy things that we've been eating, but they're so good. And plus, Nayana is in um, a school that has no a class that is about nutrition, nutrition and health. So she's like making us change <laughs> certain things that we eat. Well, we, we don't need to buy the, the whole milk. We didn't get two percent milk, stuff like that. So, um, so we're trying to be more healthy. What else so yeah i think today is just a day of putting positive energy out getting positive energy releasing the, the negative energy we don't want any negative energy and um just allow all good things to happen everything good is going to happen so that's where i'm at i need to see if i put the other key here but yeah anyway guys um i'm gonna take honey to his truck and manifest some stuff and speak well wishes for the next minute of the 222. Okay? Alright everybody, so I am um, back in my room. I was just in um, CAT scan. I had needed a CAT scan because of the pressure in my head was so intense. And it's much better now, I think, because of the Tylenol they gave me. Kind of helped out a little bit. But um, I am grateful that I came and caught this on time. My blood pressure, y'all, was 190s, almost 200s, I believe, over like 120s. Like, when does the diastolic become that high? <sighs> Never. I mean, may I may have seen it that high before, but I mean, my blood pressure is... I'll get my better hat a little bit. Anyway, y'all. This man got his IV in this part of my arm, which is amazing because usually people get it in the middle, but he got it on the side. That skills. That skills. And then um, it started to clot up. He wasn't able to grab 
um, lab because they're trying to they're gonna check my coax as well. Um, what else? <sighs> anyway, y'all, I've had so many things to do today, and I can't really do anything. I'm just going home and rest once I leave here. Find something healthy to eat, and then just rest. I gotta look at what people with high blood pressure, what they remove from their diet that shows a, a great increase in their um, blood pressure, um, a great decrease, I guess, of their blood pressure. <sighs> yeah, y'all, my blood pressure right now is 155 over 88, so that's much better than 200 over 130. Like, I had never seen no blood pressure that high before. I don't recall. I always thought it was an error. That's my freaking blood pressure, y'all. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I still have the pressure here. So the CT was just done not too long ago. Um, so they're going to see if there's anything going on in my head, in my brain. <sighs> I just want to make sure that I'm okay. And I got to get this this belly. This belly got to go because this is also a culprit of high blood pressure. It's also a culprit of high blood pressure. I know I just did the CT, like I just said, but they, um, I, one thing I did not know, guys, is that Isoview, given at a fast pace, like five mLs per what second, he said, um, caused you to have, um, hot flashes. Literally, my body went from, it went from my arm, from my head on down to my feet, y'all. I felt like I was on fire. I feel my chest I felt like it was caving in like I couldn't breathe I'm like oh my god this is how people freak out I just don't want to freak out so I'm glad he gave me the pre-warning he gave me a pre-warning that's a pre-warning no he gave me a warning about it I had to take my wig off too y'all <laughs> I had to take my wig off I got braids under here, so I didn't. I actually didn't care. Let me taking a wig off. I just wanted to get what I needed to get feel better and move forward. That is all. Anywho, let me go ahead and make a few calls. Call my sister back. And all right, the doctor just came in here. Everything's negative. My heart. There's no in stage disease of my any of my organs thank god um everything else is normal the labs are normal just low potassium my blood pressure just need to be under control so i gotta take some medication for that i need to give send it to my doctor so when i the nurse come here i'm gonna need her to give me copies of everything and then i should be good to go he told me i was good to go 45 year old chinese daughter asian daughter whatever very nice but he was like you know, very quick. Such an ER. ER don't want to hear all that. They just want to get the basic information, get you done, and get you out so you can go to your primary, which I understand. So I'm not complaining. Just get my time in and vamos. Y'all, this hair is starting to shed. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway, y'all, let me get myself ready to head out. Because I'm done. They're refilling my order for my meds right now, and then I can head out. All right, you guys, I am done. I am about to leave. I got to get all my information, paperwork. Um, so far, I'm okay. Um, yeah, so far I'm okay. I just refill my medication at CVS by my house. So I'll probably go there shortly to go get it. And then that's it, go home. All right, I'm out. All right, I'm done. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Heading home. I'm probably gonna pick up the kids something to eat really quick and then head home. See what they want. Yeah, I mean, those are max. That's max. My sister here, y'all. Cookies. I mean, I think it's important for everyone to understand.
Yeah. Go, go learn something, Max, because you, you need to learn about this for real. My sister Becky is here teaching us. Let me show y'all. I don't eat that, so don't look at me, Nyana. So you eat 13 pieces, just 13 Cheetos, and get 270 wow. milligrams. That's a lot. Just from one? Just from one serving, serving of 13 Cheetos. And if we look and we do our Googles, how much sodium you should eat per day, because remember, your body is 70% water. Let's look. Daily serving. So that's what oh, that's all the sodium you eat in a day. That's it. That's how much you're supposed to eat, right? Mm -hmm. So if you eat 13 pieces, which we know we eat way more than 13 pieces, I don't eat them. You gotta you gotta balance it out.